everyone, this is Misty Mitchkey, and we are continuing our adventure series in building a home. And I am here with Justin Dodge, one of our amazing home builders in the area. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the next steps of building a home. So at this point in time, we've gone out, we've selected our lots, <clears throat> we've gone out and looked at a variety of different homes and have a pretty good idea of the type of home, the floor plan, the square footage. And at this point in time, we're actually meeting with a builder to move to that next phase. So, so Justin, can you give us kind of an overview of when you are meeting with that buyer for the first time? What are you expecting and what's kind of that next step? Yep. So our hope for, for all of our clients at that initial meeting is that they've gone around with their realtor and they understand the differences in the different subdivisions and they also have gone through a lot of our floor plans so they have a clear understanding of what they're looking for and the size um, and then they come in and meet with me the estimator and so we talk a lot about what their needs and wants are as well as their budget and the goal in that meeting is to really find that equilibrium um, where we're meeting their needs we're capturing some of their wants and we're in within their budget and so we're going to talk about um, exactly what they're looking for in lots. Obviously they have a clear understanding since they've been through a lot of the subdivisions. Uh, we're going to talk through the different floor plans, figuring out you know, was there one of those floor plans that was a good fit for them, um, whether that's exactly the floor plan they want, or we like this floor plan but we'd like to change this, we'd like to change this. Um, and so really just talking through all that, we talk through uh, possession dates to make sure that, that things will work in our construction schedule. Um, and then at the conclusion of that meeting, uh, we come up with a ballpark estimate. And so we're taking everything we've talked about during that meeting and we're actually looking at our most recent costing mm -hmm. and most comparable projects um, and, and figuring out, okay, well, you know what, we it was this price for this, and it was this price for this. We know that this increase is coming. We know that this has changed. And so we're, we're making all those changes to make sure that we've got the most accurate ballpark estimate possible for the client. Okay, that sounds great. How long does that process usually take from that initial meeting to that pretty good ballpark estimate? Yep, and so the initial meeting with the estimator, um, we generally like to spend about an hour and a half to two hours so we can really dive into uh, the level of finishes that the clients are wanting because the last thing we want to do is come up with an inaccurate estimate for them. And so from that initial meeting and we go back and we look at the numbers, we try to turn around those ballpark estimates within a couple of days. Oh wow, that's pretty fast. So let's say that we've got agreement. Yep, this makes sense. <clears throat> What's that next step You know, yep. to, to carry on? Yeah, absolutely. So the next step is to sign a design agreement and that allows our in-house designers to go ahead and start fine tuning all the changes that that client wants. We also, at that point in time, reserve the lot. So uh, within our organization, it's $500 refundable deposit for a lot and that holds it for 60 days. And so that allows us to start working through some of those modifications and some of the changes for the clients. Okay, okay, that sounds great. So, well, that uh, explains a lot of this process. We'll continue the home building adventure in our next video series, so stay tuned.